Hey friends, exciting news from OpenAI. On May 13th, they announced GPT-4 O. Now, the O stands for Omni, which means this model can handle text, audio, images, and even video all in real time. And compared to what we had before, this is a huge leap forward. GPT-4 O is 50% cheaper than GPT-4 Turbo across both input tokens and output tokens. It is two times faster than GPT-4 Turbo and it offers five times higher rate limits. They say over the coming weeks, GPT-4 O will ramp to 5x those of GPT-4 Turbo up to 10 million tokens per minute for developers with higher usage. All of these points have often been bottlenecks for real-world business applications. At our agency, we often have projects that need much higher rate limits, and obviously, speed and pricing are very important too. So, in this video, I'll guide you on how to leverage this most advanced model from OpenAI for your business or for your client's business if you sell AI solutions, and how to build or upgrade your chatbots to get the best possible results. I'll provide you with two methods for creating a GPT-4 Omni chatbot and integrating it into a website. The first method is a third-party solution, which is extremely easy to use, but comes with some limitations. The second method involves using custom-built code, so it's not merely, you know, drag and drop, but it offers more flexibility and cost effectiveness. So for the first method, I'm gonna use a tool called Chatbase. I already showcased this tool about half a year ago in one of my other videos. It is very beginner friendly. In just a few minutes, you can have a chatbot ready to go. And they say GPT-4.0 is now available. So let's quickly create it right now. I will attach a link to this tool in the video description. Once you sign up, you can click new chatbot and create it right away. You'll be redirected to this screen where you can add your data sources. This should be a knowledge base that your chatbot is going to use to answer questions. I have a sample knowledge base from my previous video. It is for a fake hotel called Vista Bay Resort. So I'll just drag and drop that PDF file. Obviously, apart from file format, you can also use plain text or a website. If you choose website, for example, you can paste the links to crawl. But in this case, I just added a PDF file. The number of characters is within the limit, so all good. I'll click create chatbot, give it a few moments to process, and boom, that's it. The chatbot is created and ready to use. It says the model in use is GPT-4.0, which is exactly what we need. I really admire from the user experience point of view how straightforward they made it. You have only one button, create chatbot, then you have only one step to add your knowledge base, and that's it. The basic version of your chatbot is created. Well done, chat base. Now, if needed, you can modify the settings. Let's go to the settings tab, and on the left-hand side, if you click on model, you'll see which GPT model is in use. You can change it if you want. Also, you have instructions here. This is a role that your assistant is going to perform. They have a default one, but you can change it, of course. I have my custom persona prompt prepared, again, from my previous video. So I'll copy it and paste it back into Chatbase. Quickly check it. Looks good to me. Okay, I'm gonna click save. And what else you can do here is customizing the chat interface. So the kind of front end for our assistant. You can change the initial message. You can add some suggested messages, select the theme, light or dark, and so on. You can also upload a profile picture. Let's actually do it. I'll choose one of my pictures. Display name, let's say um, Bo AI Assistant. You can change the colors, uh, you know, chat icon, alignment, etc. For now, let's just click save and move on. You also have the sources tab in case you need to change or update your knowledge base. You can do it here. They also offer some pre-configured integrations. That's very convenient. You can integrate the chatbot directly into WhatsApp, for example, if you subscribe for a paid plan, of course. But for this video, I just want to embed it on my site, so I'll click make public and we get a piece of code that we can copy and paste directly into the HTML of a website. I'm gonna use this sample website from that previous video about an AI solution for hotels. Check it out, by the way, if you haven't yet. There are no chatbots here. Let me refresh it, okay? No chatbot widgets here. I go to the HTML of the website, scroll down, paste the script from Chatbase and save. 
Now let's refresh it again and the chatbot icon has appeared. Bo AI Assistant, nice. Let's ask it, hi, tell me your checkout time. Wow, first of all, the speed is impressive. For comparison, if you go to my previous video where I built the same chatbot, but I used different chatbot builder and I believe the model in use was GPT 3.5 Turbo, the time it took to respond was much longer. So GPT 4.0 is definitely faster and that's my first impression here. Now, it replied, check out time at Vista by Resort is at 12 p.m. Let's quickly check it in my knowledge base. Yes, indeed, under checkout procedures, it says checkout time is 12 p.m. Let's say, nice, thanks. What is your Wi-Fi password? <laughs> and I really like the speed here. I'm not going to cut the delays so that you could see how it replies in real time, okay? You're welcome. The Wi-Fi password for our guests is Vista 2024. You can connect to the network, blah, blah, blah. So. According to my persona instructions, it is friendly, right? It doesn't merely provide the answer to my question, the Wi-Fi password, blah, blah. It replies, you are welcome because I said thanks in the previous message, so it works as anticipated. Okay, that's it. I think that's the easiest and the fastest way to implement a GPT-4 assistant for your business, but there are, of course, some limitations. As it is a third-party solution, there are additional costs. Paying for tokens to use the GPT model will be more expensive because there is their margin fee included. Chatbase needs to make money as well, right? The second limitation is the lack of flexibility. You are dependent on their pre-configured functionalities and cannot implement advanced features like image recognition or product recommendations or, you know, online dynamically updated knowledge base such as spreadsheets, for example. And while Webhooks functionality is available and theoretically you can build custom code for those advanced features and integrate it. This raises the question, if you are capable of building such code, why overpay for Chatbase when you can use the Assistant API from OpenAI directly? The same issue applies to the knowledge base. The site scraping function within Chatbase doesn't really work well with larger sites or with unstructured sites. If you aim to generate a quality knowledge base from your website content, it would be much more effective to build a custom scraper for better accuracy. In conclusion, despite these limitations, Chatbase provides real value, that's for sure. If your goal is to build a basic customer support chatbot for your website without the need for coding or using more complex chatbot builders, Chatbase would be a great solution for you. Moving on, the second method involves creating a custom built chatbot from scratch, which requires writing code. But don't worry, you won't need to actually write anything yourself because my team has already done that for you. All you need to do is just copy and paste our code and I will guide you through the process. So we are going to use Replit as a backend to host our code, which is going to implement the whole functionality of the assistant, then VoiceFlow as a frontend to get the interface for our chatbot widget. And we will connect Replit with VoiceFlow, allowing them to communicate with each other via API calls. Once you click on the Replit link in the video description, you'll see this template. It was prepared by my partner and CTO, Nick. You're welcome to go to the comment section and thank him. Once you do that, obviously you need to sign up with Replit and click use template. Give it a name, say GPT-40 chatbot and click use template. Now this is your workspace and you can amend it. I have a very similar tutorial that I published on my channel back in November last year. And now I decided to update the code because since November, OpenAI libraries have been updated a lot and this code is updated accordingly. It includes vector database, file search, and so on. Anyway, I will show you very specifically what you need to change here to make it work with your data. The first thing to do is to add your secret API key from OpenAI. Go to secret and here as a value, you need to paste your API key. Let's go to OpenAI developer platform as always, to make it work, make sure you have some credit balance. Just go to settings, then billing, and you can check it out here or recharge. Then go to API keys, create new secret key, give it a name, click create secret key, copy it and paste it as a value back in Replit. Click add secret and it's done. Now you have four files on the left hand side, assistant JSON, 
index.js, knowledge doc, and OpenAI service.js. This is index.js. It includes two main endpoints, start and chat. The start endpoint initiates a new thread, while the chat endpoint receives a question from the bot, forwards it to the thread, and then returns the response from OpenAI. Then we have our knowledge base doc and OpenAI service.js. It is going to check if our assistant JSON exists. If yes, it will use it, and if not, it will create one according to the instructions here. We have a name, persona instructions, and the GPT model that should be in use. So the instructions you provide here will be used to create an assistant. That was just a quick overview for your understanding. Now let me show how to actually change the knowledge base and the persona instructions. After you added your secret API key, you can delete assistant JSON, then delete the knowledge doc, yes, delete file. To add your own knowledge base, Click on the three dots here, then upload file and select your knowledge base doc. I'll use the same one about my Vista by Resort business. Pay attention to the naming of your file. Before, as you see, it was knowledge.doc. Now it is knowledgebase.doc. So I need to go to OpenAI service and in the line number nine, I need to change the name of my knowledge base file so it is aligned with the file name I just attached. All right. And you also want to change the persona prompt, right? The role your assistant is going to perform. So I'll use the same persona prompt for Vista by Resort Assistant. Just copy all of that and paste it back in Replit as instructions. I'm going to click run. And since there is no existing assistant JSON file, it should create one. Let's see. Yes, it did create a new file. It uses GPT-4.0 as the model and includes instructions for my Vista by Resort Assistant. And the Replit setup is done. Only three steps for you, right? Add your secret API key, replace the knowledge base and the persona instructions. Now I'm going to set up VoiceFlow and link it all together. Download the VoiceFlow template from the video description. And once you sign up with VoiceFlow, you can import it. Then just open the assistant and this is what you'll see. Let's just quickly change the welcome message. So instead of Bonnie Neo James customer support assistant, I'll say Ashley, your personal customer service assistant at Vista Bay Resort. Generate a few more variants with AI. The second message, let's also change it to Vista Bay Resort services and also generate more options. All right, really the only thing you need to do here is to paste your Replit URL. Click on the first block, switch back to Replit, click on the replit.dev here and copy dev URL. Now paste it back to VoiceFlow and make sure it ends with slash start, okay? Do the same for the other block and this time it should end with slash chat. And now our VoiceFlow chatbot is linked to Replit. Let's test it out, click run test. Hi, when is your checkout time? And it replies according to our knowledge base. Nice. Let's now quickly deploy it to a website. Click publish, give it a name, say Vista Bay Assistant, publish, and I can embed widget. This is the code snippet that we need to add to our site HTML, but you can also customize the interface of the chatbot here. Let's change the name to Vista Bay resort assistant, amend the description, and you can also modify the appearance, change the colors, upload different icons, profile pictures, etc. Now let's go to our sample website. We still have the previous chatbot from Chatbase here. So I'll go to the HTML of the site and delete it. And this part as well, delete. Now I'll save it, go back to the site, refresh it, and the chatbot is gone. Let's copy the code snippet from VoiceFlow, paste it into the HTML, save, go back to the site, refresh it again, and this time the chatbot widget from VoiceFlow has appeared. That's the final demo, I promise. Let's see how it works. Hey, what is your Wi-Fi password? And yes, it replies Vista 2024 according to the knowledge base. Let's ask one more question. When does your bar close? And the response is again correct and aligned with my knowledge base. All right, when I published a similar tutorial with Replit, 
many of you asked how to make it work when you close Replit. The answer is that you need to deploy your code. So at our agency, we use AWS Lambda. It is very secure. They offer pay-as-you-go pricing, so it is quite convenient. But you can also deploy it directly in Replit. You can click deployments here on the left-hand side and you'll see deploy to production, deploy a stable public version of your project unaffected by the changes you make in the workspace. You can, for example, select resort virtual machine and upgrade your plan to deploy. In this video, we just deployed the chatbot to a website, but you can also integrate it with WhatsApp. For example, there is a detailed guide on WhatsApp integration prepared by VoiceFlow. I'll attach the link in the description and I will definitely cover it as well in my upcoming videos. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. To sum up, we achieved the same result using two different methods. I understand that if you're not familiar with coding or using GPT models, this code might seem overwhelming and kind of difficult to adapt to your needs, but it offers many advantages and opportunities for further development. For instance, you can integrate image recognition functionality into this assistant or turn it into a voice agent or introduce some scraping solution to use online sources as a knowledge base. There is a great deal of flexibility available. And if you are looking to implement a more advanced and custom built solution for your business, our agency can help. My team of developers is ready to assist you. Just visit the website in the description below to get in touch. And that's it for today. Let me know if that tutorial was useful for you. Leave some comments. I am so excited about everything that's going on right now. From the recent presentations by Google and OpenAI, it is evident that the leading companies in the field are not going to stop. The agent capabilities are going to be greater and greater. So make sure to leverage this technology. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like the video, watch my other tutorials, a lot of value there, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.